Africans just can't run things. Now, that's a very, very fundamental point. There are many other areas, as you well pointed out, where they can beat the hell out of us. Now, and they should be proud of those. I would come into staff meetings, uh, Al Haig and, and uh, Kissinger would, would beat the table like this, tom-toms, uh, and that was meant Because to, you were the... Because I was, because my clients were, the, were these savages uh, who were uh, automatically regarded as fresh out of a Tarzan movie in the, in the jungle, you know, and... Uh, this is the White House. This is the, this is the White House. This is the seat of American power and majesty in the world, yes. Yes. We've got so much blood on, uh, on American hands uh, throughout the world. Uh, if you look at all of these uh, crises along the uh, West African coast, um, Sierra Leone, Angola, uh, Congo, if you just run one uh, from one to the other and you see uh, all of this bloodshed, all of this uh, this, this killing, uh, with uh, with warlords who um, capture areas with timber and diamonds. The guns come from the United States uh, and other countries as well, but the the U.S. is the leading arms supplier to these um, uh, these thugs uh, in the bush in these countries who use children as war fodder. say that, that every coup d'etat that takes place in post-colonial Africa from about 1956-57 uh, right up to and including the first years of the 21st century. I would say all but perhaps two or three, we're talking dozens here, were really truly independent of the United States. I said, assisted genocide. We can no longer go into a country and take it over with guns and bombs and tanks and planes. Uh, that would be condemned by the world. But instead, we allow the people to kill themselves. And this is why I call it assisted genocide or assisted self-genocide. It's like assisted suicide. You can't kill a person directly, but you assist them in killing themselves. We're doing this on a vast scale to entire countries and continents today. And you see these kids fighting, uh, 12, 13, 14 year old children uh, in, in rags, but with sophisticated, expensive arms. It never occurs to Americans to ask uh, what they're not told in the news report. Where do these weapons come from? These are the weapons largely sold by American suppliers. Well, the powers that be, the system, I would want to see them 
take another look into the eyes of the children and basically rethink the greed and uh, the genocide, the destruction of the children. The powers that be decide who's going to live, who's going to eat, who's going to move, who's going to jump, who's going to have, who's going to not have, who's going to be educated, who's not going to be educated, who's going to receive guns, who's not going to receive guns. I, I have mixed feelings. I receive their ambassadors. They change all the time, and I've had an impairment. I love them. They're so kind and so nice. And they're children. children, 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 children. children.